Welcome back, I'm Miss Fizz, and we're going to have another Let's Try episode. This time, we are playing Fallout New Vegas. So, I did actually already record a video and all this, and I played it, and I've never played Fallout New Vegas before, and the video corrupted. So instead of replaying the beginning of the game, I decided just to carry on from where I had played from. So, here I am in Goodridge, and I've talked to this guy who, I don't exactly know who he's with, but he's out of prison, and ugh. But the Goodridge people like this guy named Ringo, and that guy's after him, he wants him dead. And I can decide to help either or, but I really kind of just want to help Ringo, uh, the Goodridge people and help Ringo out, because I think that's just better. So, that's what we are going to do when I find where Ringo is, which is uh, at a gas station up the road, I guess? Uh, my weapon is already, like, broken, and I don't know how to fix it, but I'm hoping we can deal with that soon so that I can have a weapon that actually works. Because I don't want to steal from these people, not if I'm helping them out. So just so you know, this is completely vanilla Fallout New Vegas. I didn't mod it at all. This is just how it is. Okay, so this must be the gas station. Oh! What is this? Ooh, is that, like, beer? Is that what that is? Did I just take that? No, I have to press A to take all. Okay, anything else? Anything cool in here? Probably not. It's probably all lame. Okay, and how do I get in there? Do I just walk in the front door? Ringo's cool with that? Uh, well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Uh, I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're thinking. I'm just having a look around. I'm not an enemy. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan. You know how to play? Um, did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? And what are the rules of Caravan? No, I don't know how to play. It's a two-player game, and the winner takes the whole pie. You build a caravan using the cards in your deck. What? The goal is to create caravan bids that beat your opponent's bids. So there's more strategy than luck involved. It's why you won't see Caravan in any casino. Too slow-paced. And more importantly, no house edge. Here, take oh. this holotape. It goes into more specifics about the rules. You'll also need a deck, so take one of my spares. So, you feel like playing a game? Um... Where can I find more cards? Just keep an eye out for them while you travel. I've found cards in old boxes or forgotten on shelves can find some for sale too cool I don't have time for a game right now all right because I want to learn how to do it first yeah. I'm gonna read that watch that hollow tape thing if I can figure out how miscellaneous uh, where's the hollow tape thing uh, oh man I don't know wouldn't it be in here Maybe it's not in here. Maybe it's in a different part. Caravan deck. Oh. Okay. Uh, that caravan game seems a little bit too complicated for me. So, I don't know if I need any of this stuff. But, uh, it seems a little too complicated for me, so I'm not going to play it with him. Uh, oh no! I always exit... Uh, do I need an empty coke bottle? Probably not. Is there anything good in here? I'll take her all. Because I'm not... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to see all the stuff. Oh, man. Okay. So we're not going to play the game, buddy. Uh, empty bottle. Empty bottles. <gasps> That's whiskey. A battery. Uh, a Broxo cleaner. I think a Broxo cleaner must be good because, uh, weird. Because a merchant sells it, so that means it's actually got to be useful, right? I hope so. Uh, duffel bag. Okay. 
I'll take all your stuff. <gasps> Floor safe. Oh, you need a lockpick skill of 25. Okay, fine. Well, what's over here? Bottle caps. Yeah, baby. We got bottle caps. All right. Sorry, Ringo. Let's talk. What is it? So, did you know there's a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have <laughs> a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I can handle all of them in a gunfight. Well, why are they out to get you? My caravan was on the return trip from California and heading back to the company branch in New Vegas when we got jumped. Not even a drop your weapons and hands up before the bullets started flying. We put up a good fight, but there was too many of them. Oh. I took a few of the bandits down before I ran, so I figure their friends are out for revenge. Oh, well, what do you do around here? Oh, sorry. I thought everybody knew already. I'm a trader with the Crimson Caravan Company. I'm, uh, staying in town for a bit. Ha! I see. Did you want something else? Yeah, what are you gonna do about those powder gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. <laughs> it always makes me think of Power Rangers. You need a hired gun? Oh, I'm available. No, maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... I'll ask around and see who I can round up. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, I like that idea. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. All right, let's go uh, talk to Sunny. It looks to be nighttime, but people are still awake. I don't know what time it is. Uh, okay. Maybe Sunny is in the saloon? I'm gonna guess that's where she is. That's where she was before. Oh, hey, Sunny. I remember you. Hey there. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Um, ooh. I'm gonna help Ringo take on the take on the Powder Gangers or the Power Rangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Wow, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between oh. you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy oh. Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance okay. we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Uh, any ideas on how to convince Trudy? She seems a little rough. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Uh, would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Ha! Huh. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Um... Okay. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. All right, sounds good. First, I guess waiting. I need to talk to Trudy before I can even think of talking to those other people. But Trudy should like me because I fixed her radio. Now, if only I could find her. Hey, Trudy, I found you. So I just had to wait till morning. Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Uh, let's see. Near the saloon and store are good spots to stage an ambush if I had the help. Uh, or speech. Do I have sneak or speech? I must, or it wouldn't give me those options. You should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason... I can't help but like you. <laughs> I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. Nice. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. 
All right, so I gotta go. Be careful out there. To the general store and see if he'll cough up a little help. All right, and I believe this is the Good Springs General Store. But, oh, reloading bench, workbench, recycling energy cell. What? What does this do? Uh, ingredients, bottle cap mine. I can't make any of these things. Fine. What's this? Reloading bench. Ooh. Uh, hall, 12 gauge lead powder pistol. Okay. Oh, but wait a second. Isn't. Ooh. I'm confused. Don't I want to keep some of that stuff? I don't know what I just did. Apparently, I crafted stuff. I even got a crafty achievement. But I really don't know what it is that I made. Did I make more ammo? I didn't make a new gun. I definitely didn't repair my gun. I don't know what I did exactly. I'm guessing new ammo. But I'd really like being able to repair my gun and I don't remember how to do that. But we should go to the general store. All right, we got a buddy over here. Who are you? Oh, you're Chet. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The yeah. way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and Ooh. special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Um. Ooh, tell me about weapon mods and special ammo. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. What do you know about the situation with the powder gangers? If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake what? that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Oh, this might be tough to make him, uh, want to help us. Uh, what makes the surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual. All right. Well, I need supplies. Actually, show me what you have Can for do. sale first. So these are all just... I don't even see. Oh, weapons. Oh, this is cool. Apparel. Nice. Maybe I should have checked that out at the crafting bench. Duh. All right. I need supplies to have fight the powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Uh, the town's at stake. That's, oh, has to be worth more than a few supplies. Never mind. Right. Hold on. I don't have enough take it easy. barter yet. I'm going to save just in case. This. Okay, now we're going to try barter. Damn Look, it. You're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved, but hey. Asshole. Okay, so I reloaded my save to before I asked him about it, and I'm just not going to ask him for now. We'll see what happens. So I think I just broke down all my ammo. I'm not exactly sure if that's what, it, what I just did, but I think it might be. I don't want to go talk to Ringo yet. I think I'm going to go talk to the doctor and see if the doctor likes me enough to give us some stim packs. What does he have here? He's got like a battery with like a rope thing going on. <gasps> Is that for his lights? Oh, weird. I was like afraid it was going to be a bomb or something crazy like that. Hey, buddy. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, I don't need help. I need... The town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Nope. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Oh, goody. Awesome. I need medical supplies. Sure. I don't, though. So we're just going to leave. Because I'm not spending any money. All right. Um... 
Goodbye. You take care now. Okay, I will take care. Thank you, doctor. Aw, he was nice. So there's still something in the prospector saloon that I didn't do. So I guess maybe I'll go talk in there again. Who do I want to talk to? I'll keep an eye out for the powder gangers and meet up with you and Ringo when the time comes. Okay. Hmm. Until next. I don't need to talk to you. Is it you I need to talk to? Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. No, that's not what I want. Be careful. Why do I have a quest marker over here? Is there an upstairs? There's no upstairs, is there? I don't think so. Pretty sure there was no upstairs. So why do I have a quest marker in here? <gasps> Maybe I have to talk to the old guy on the porch? Hey you! Easy Pete! You're Howdy. the one we need dynamite from. What do you know uh, about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. Ooh, he should be... Welcome. <laughs> he should be easy to talk into. Um, I hear you got dynamite. Would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. No, come on. I'm familiar with the care and handling of explosives, dynamite included. Uh-huh. Guess you know what you're doing. Yeah. I'll go dig it up and get it ready. You'll have it by the time the fighting starts. Awesome. Yep. So, that's really cool that I got everything, but I can't convince Chet which is really disappointing to me. Holy crap, I can look at myself? Oh, I can't look at my own face though, that's lame. I don't know how, maybe there is a way, but I don't know how. So, I don't know what the heck to do, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need to buy a gun because mine is not doing so well. So I need some gun that takes this kind of ammo, I guess. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah, show me what you have. I need supplies to fight the powder again, gangers. Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. Uh. Look, you're bringing this up. Fine. Can do. Asshole. Weapons. Boxing tape. <laughs> Cleaver. Dynamite. Plasma. Ooh. Ooh, a 22 pistol. <gasps> Another one of these. Oh, and they're already kind of broken. This is BS. All right, I'll take both of those. What kind of... Mm, 22 LR. Pre-war hat. Leather armor. Oh, yeah, baby. I hope... Oh, I got lots of caps to spend. Uh, aid... Mm. Miscellaneous? No. I want the good ammo. 22 LR round. Yeah, baby. Uh, ooh. Hollow point. I don't understand. How many do I want to buy? Uh, six? Does that really only get me six rounds? Okay, well then I want to buy all of it. Ha-ha! And I'll buy all these hollow point too. Okay. Oh my goodness, he had 800 caps. I only have 31 caps. Damn it. Is an ashtray any good? Probably not. I'll get rid of the ashtray. And... I don't know what else to get rid of. What if I need all this stuff? Oh, <gasps> cancel! Yes! Thanks. Awesome! Can do. I'm not committed once I actually do it. Okay. So, let's do this. Uh, weapons. Oh, I did commit to that one. Okay, I just didn't commit to these. I'm so freaking confused. I don't know what I got. Take it easy now. Sure I will, buddy. Uh, items. Weapons. 
Oh, it's not much better than mine. Okay, well, I'll repair you. Choose item to repair with. That one. Okay, sure. Yay! I need the exact same weapon to repair it. That's kind of ridiculous. Ooh. Do I have ammo for this one? Yes, I do. Awesome. Apparel. So what does leather armor do for me? Uh, damage resistance kind of thing? How do I repair it? I can't repair it. Okay, fine. I don't know how to do anything. So I was breaking down all my ammo earlier, damn it. That's no good. Oh well. What's over there? Why is it flashing at me over there? Is that because I failed? I failed, okay? I can't help it. I can't get him to give us free stuff. It's just not gonna happen. Hey there, Ringo buddy! So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us! Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Um... No, I'm good. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Oh! How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Okay. I'm ready. You better be too. Oh, Easy P came through with the dynamite. Here's your supply. I really hope I don't blow myself up. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay. Oh, I guess we're going, guys. Uh, where are they? Who's good? Who's bad? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, how do I change my weapon? I don't know how to make my quick slots work. Where is everybody? Got enough? Come on. Oh gosh! I want to use bats! Yeah, you're gonna die! Uh, accept. Booyah! Oh, bats again. Um, we'll get your head. That's all we need, just a one-shot head. Oh, gosh. What about your head? Okay. How come I can't... Oh, I'm gonna take your baseball bat and your outfit. Yes! A shot! <gasps> oh, you've established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody and people associate that with that. Wow! Did I kill somebody I wasn't supposed to? I think I killed somebody I wasn't supposed to. I was vilified. Who are you? No, oh, you're a powder ganger. So I don't get why everybody was so mad. I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I uh, thank you. Didn't I hear you say something earlier about not being able to pay me now? Seems a little light for the work I did. It's all I've got with me. But if you look me up at the Crimson Caravan's main camp in New Vegas, I'll pay you in full. Alright. Uh, now I'm just gonna loot everybody and see if I can do crafting stuff. Oh, hey guys! How's it going? Can I talk to you? That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Haha! <laughs> Um, K, 
Okay, is that Until all? Next time. There's nothing exciting to tell me? We're all I'm done? that business is over. I like... Alright, fine. I guess goodbye. Be careful We've out there. We finished our first Fallout New Vegas quest. Oh my goodness, awesome. And look, I can actually make something now. I can make a buckshot. I don't know if that's useful. So I'm just going to make one. 20 gauge round added. Okay, so is that useful to me? No, it's not useful to me at all. <gasps> Maybe if I use a shotgun. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. I got all kinds of weapons. Awesome. Okay, now what if I go over here? Can I build anything yet? No. Can't build anything yet, but I might be able to repair some of my other weapons. All right, so I have my leather armor on. I made a couple of buckshot bullets, and I helped out the town, so that was pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about that, and I earned some reputation of some kind, even though I really don't understand it. Liked. Vilified by the powder gangers. Well, that kind of makes sense. No shit they don't like me. So, now I think I have to go to Prim. Yes, for my delivery assignment, I'm supposed to head on over to Prim. But I noticed that Sunny was able to talk about Prim, so I think I'm going to go off and find her. But this episode's gone on long enough, so I'm going to let you go. Thanks for joining me for Follow New Vegas. I'm Miss Biz, and this has been Let's Try New Vegas. Bye for now. <laughs>